As we look at first news, it's fair, it's accurate. You get the damn truth. U.S. Coast Guard said the cargo ship that crashed into the bridge in Baltimore underwent some routine engine maintenance beforehand. Coast Guard's Admiral Shannon Gilry said authorities have been informed the ship was going to undergo maintenance. They were not informed of any problems that they found on this ship as it collided with the support pillar Tuesday, causing that span to buckle into the river. Two bodies were discovered yesterday still in the car. The others at this point are presumed dead, but the search will continue. Manufacturers and shippers are going to figure out where they can load or unload cargo while the main operations at the port in Baltimore has closed. We went over that earlier. Supply chain said other ports up and down the coast, though, can absorb much of that traffic, avoiding a crisis that you heard about all day yesterday on the news. Just some longer shipping times, maybe a little more increased cost if they have to go to places like Savannah or up around Boston, New York, places like that. Talks have restarted aimed at bringing some of the top Israeli officials to Washington to discuss the operations in Gaza. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu canceled his planned visit. He got sick of Chuck Schumer and how they were blasting Israel, trying to defend and protect their people. So he said, hell with you, I'm not coming. Well, then they were going to send one of their defense people over to talk to the White House and Now they have decided to send someone over to discuss what's going on, a possible ceasefire resolution. Israel's not going to agree to anything, though, that endangers their country, their people, and their way of life. Attorneys for Hunter Biden have asked a judge to toss out his tax case, accusing him of not paying his $1.4 million in taxes. Joe Biden's son pleaded not guilty. Hunter Biden's attorneys made the request yesterday. So, folks, you know what happens when you go to the right judges. We've been talking about it a lot. Let's see how the judge deals with Hunter Biden's legal problems. See if they throw those out. By the way, if there wasn't any validity to these charges, how do they know he owes $1.4 million? They know We'll see what happens today in that case. It's in Los Angeles, by the way. Nine felony tax offenses, nine of them currently against Hunter Biden. And as the country needs him, Joe Biden's fundraising. He was in New York City yesterday with Barack Obama and Bill Clinton, and he raised $25 million. Radio City Music Hall fundraiser. He's got a significant fundraising advantage over Donald Trump. Donald Trump's spending a lot of his money now fighting all these indictments that the Democrats have thrown into his uh, mix before he runs for president. By the way, folks, you know, Barack Obama can't stand Joe Biden. You know that. But he's still calling all the shots. I agree. That's why he was at the fundraiser yesterday. They were just buddy-buddy there. When they raised $25 million. Joe Lieberman left the Democratic Party, you may recall. He did so when he said, I love my party, but I love my country more. He won the vice presidency on Al Gore's ticket. Eight years later, he came close to joining the GOP ticket when John McCain ran for president, but he did not. He was independent. He died yesterday. He was 82, died from complications from a fall, even though he was in fairly good health still. A few weeks ago, ripped Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer for taking the side of Hamas against the Jewish people and Israel's right to defend themselves. United Nations came out with a report yesterday said that almost 20% of all the food produced around the world goes to waste. One billion metric tons of food that could have helped feed hundreds of millions of people. The biggest share of the waste, 60% of all of it comes from households. 30% came in food service operations like restaurants. There's a thing they call the food waste index. I didn't know we had that. 
came three years after the UN's first attempt to try to fix the problem with food waste. Besides leaving people hungry, food waste means needless greenhouse gas emissions are being released and <laughs> producing those food. They don't give a rat's ass about the people starving. It's the greenhouse gas emissions that come with the food waste. God, they're relentless. Relentless, folks. Relentless. Misuse of our water, crops, and animals being raised when we don't need them. This is what they're worried about. New survey came out early in the week, folks, that said that 50% of the people that live in New York plan on getting the hell out of there in five years. Oh, yeah. Once again, one of these cities led by you-know-who. It's on track to become now the first U.S. city with congestion tolls on drivers that go into the district district. Transit authorities approved a new pricing plan yesterday. There will be now a $15 toll for most of the motorists that enter a zone that is south of Manhattan Central Park. It'll push more people, they said, to use public transport, which two days ago, somebody was pushed in front of a subway car by one of these felons that Mm. they have left out. And so they're going to tax you now $15 every time you decide you want to drive your car into a high traffic area. Another tax. It's a $15 toll. Uh, by the way, if you have to drive to work and home, that's $30 a day. New York City, folks. People are moving out. What else do we have going on? Well, NCAA President Charlie Baker came out yesterday urging states with legal wagering on sporting events to ban betting on individual player performances. Prop bets, they call them. It allows gamblers to wager on the stats that a player will accumulate during a game. Boy, you think that opens up a door for some rough stuff? The NBA's now opened up an investigation into Jonte Porter amid gambling allegations related to his performance in individual games. Ohio, Vermont, Maryland, among the states that have removed prop betting from their college athletes. The American Gaming Association said almost $3 billion will be bet this year on the NCAA men's and women's basketball tournaments through legal sports books. And you can bet on players how many points, how many rebounds, how many turnovers they have. That's something that a player can control very easy. You're right. European shares opened higher today. Mixed trading session in Asia. Chinese markets were up. Tokyo's benchmark fell. Oil prices up again today. Folks, you may have noticed in Billings, our gas prices just keep going higher and higher. Went up another nickel yesterday to three fifty nine. Average price in the United States now approaching three seventy a gallon. Not good. Also yesterday, Home Depot. Uh, is going to buy a new supplier of goods, SRS Distribution, for $18 billion. That will help them grow their business with professional builders. That one was okay. (laughs) But the Spirit Airlines and JetBlue thing was a $3 billion deal. Two itty-bitty airlines. Nope, can't do that. It will affect poor people. Tax days approaching. Plenty of things small business owners should keep in mind when you file your taxes. April 15th is still the annual tax deadline, although unlike individuals, small businesses can have varying deadlines depending on the type of company, the state, and the taxes that are filed in. Quarterly estimated tax payments are generally required throughout the year. Since business tax filing is complex, most experts recommend small business owners work with professional tax advisors rather than trying to fill it out yourself or file your own with tax filing software. One of the biggest crooks in modern day history, and that's former crypto man Sam Bankman Freed, faces decades in prison when he's sentenced for his role in the collapse of FTX. 
company was one of the world's most popular platforms for trading digital currency, and he was a crook. Dramatic fall from a year ago when his companies were riding high, even putting ads on the Super Bowl with celebrity endorsements. Jury found him guilty, took him 30 seconds. His lawyer said he's not the evil genius that was depicted by the media, but he's going to go to prison, folks. Some of the stocks trading heavily yesterday, Merck and company, they were up. That drug developer just received approval for a new high blood pressure treatment they think could be a good one. Johnson & Johnson is reportedly considering buying a medical device maker called Shockwave Medical, so their stock was up. GameStop was down. The video game retailer's fourth quarter earnings fell short. That's awesome news. (laughs) Great news for America and our school systems. (sighs) Biden administration has issued a final rule, too. Final one. Aim now at limiting methane leaks from oil and gas drilling on federal and tribal lands. Crackdown on emissions. The rule was issued yesterday by the Interior Department's Bureau of Land Management. They're going to tighten the limits now on on gas flaring on federal lands and improve methods to detect methane leaks that adds to the warming of the planet. The actions follow a more comprehensive methane reduction plan announced by the EPA in December. Oh, man, they are working hard and going after everything, folks. After everything. And you know what they can't do? They can't control the world. Mm. They can't control the earth. Timekeepers have to consider taking a second away from our clocks now. Because the planet is rotating faster than it did. Clocks may have to skip in a second. It's called a leap second in 2029. They said the reason it's doing it (laughs) is because the ice is melting and it's making the earth lighter. What do these people smoke every morning before they go to work? (laughs) That's not true. The earth has been changing its time for billions and billions. You know, we lost all the ice at one point. And at one point, the whole damn world was covered with ice. So did we slow down then because we were heavier? What about Americans? They're getting heavier. Are they adding to the weight problem (laughs) that we're having on the planet? Let's eliminate them then and we can speed it back. Nope. You're not even allowed to vary one second, folks, over 100 years. Otherwise, who you vote for can change that. Right. It can change the speed of the planet. All depends on who you vote for. Right? Right. They need to maybe add or take away a second. And the Powerball jackpot last night was not one, $935 million. Nobody wins it. This after a $1.1 billion jackpot earlier in the week for Mega Millions. So uh, the Saturday night, it will probably be over $1 billion. Winners who would have taken the cash payout last night would have got $449 million, and then they would have had to take taxes out of that. But looks like uh, your ticket was no good, Mark. And if you stop in and use the Powerball app, you can check your numbers and get new tickets for the weekend. $1 billion. In sports, Major League Baseball, my least favorite thing about Major League Baseball is there's not a salary cap that's the same for all teams. The Dodgers yesterday... Signed catcher Will Smith to a 10-year, $140 million contract extension. That's on top of the $700 million they gave to Otani, uh, as well as uh, Yamamoto, the pitcher, 12-year, $325 million contract. Tyler Glass now is 5-year, $137.5 million, and a one-year extension for outfielder uh, Teoscar Hernandez for $23.5 million. And that's why it's very rare you see small market teams like Cincinnati win the World Series anymore. Mm-hmm. 56 degrees today. We do have a 50% chance of rain today. 48 tomorrow, 42 Saturday, 40 on Easter Sunday. So uh, going to be a little chilly this weekend. Then we get uh, to the nice stuff. As April comes, 
Next week, we get uh, up into the mid-60s. So 36 out there right now. I screwed up on the time, folks. That was a three and not an eight. So now it's 645. Quarter to seven. That's what's happening. About time a lot of you get up and get rolling. (laughs) And uh, give you plenty of time to stop at Chipotle and pick up your stuff today. And Remember, stay on the road. Back up that traffic all day today. (laughs) 